This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With Diana Williams, Shade Berenois, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. Plus, the unique program that allows the deaf and hard of hearing to enjoy Broadway musicals. Taking in a Broadway show is an adventure for the senses with great costumes, dancing, and singing. But for deaf audience members, not hearing the music means missing out on the plot. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson is here with a program that keeps them tuned in, mm -hmm. right? Yes, well imagine this, you're watching Hairspray, Chicago, or Wicked, and you can't hear the music or the dialogue. It completely changes the experience. But some highly trained people are making sure audiences do not miss a thing, and because of what they're doing, a whole new crop of Broadway theater goers is emerging. It's something many take for granted, hearing a Broadway show. Not this group of teens, you see, they're deaf or suffer from varying levels of hearing loss. This is their reality. There's that, that feeling of isolation, I'm left out, everyone else is getting it and I'm not. But look near the front of the stage, that's where you'll find a trio of interpreters who, using sign language, conveys the story. And like the cast on stage in Mary Poppins, they're always in character. We really come and work together and divide up the roles and have a whole rehearsal period so that we know when the important moments are happening on stage. More than 10,000 students have now taken part in the Talking Hands program put on by the Theater Development Fund, the same folks who run the TKTS booth. This is Christina's first Broadway experience. I watch the show more than the interpreters, but when, there's, when they start speaking, the characters speaking, then I look at the interpreters to see what they're saying, and then I go back and look at the dancing, and the action is just fabulous. The entire script is also loaded into a laptop and then scrolls along in this box throughout the performance. Now sometimes you look back and forth and you might miss something or you're checking a word on the caption box, but then you work it out. Gavin Lee, Bert in the show, says it's hard to keep your eyes off the interpreters. And I have such res respect for people that have learned another language, but not not a vocal language, this is the sign language. It must be so hard and it helps so many people. It's just, it's fantastic. And I just think it's a wonderful opportunity for the kids to be able to experience live theater, because if it wasn't for them, they wouldn't be able to come. Oh. And of course, that was Mary Poppins. This is just part of the program. Before the kids head to the theater, a teaching artist first meets with the students in their classrooms to get them up to speed on the show so that they know before they go in, the storyline and so forth, and then they're better prepared once they arrive. The kids really jump into this. Mm -hmm. First timers. It's so this is great. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so great. Yeah. What a great point. Whole new world. Oh, I know. I, know. Oh, I love it. I love Thanks, it. Kimberly. Okay. Thanks, Kimberly. We've got another Broadway tidbit before oh, yes. we go.